Hi everybody, we're going to be playing exercise number 144, which is called Natural Minor Scale, and there's a new note in this exercise. Um, for concert pitch instruments, it's going to be a low G, um, so that's flute, baritone, trombone, you guys are playing a low G here. Um, for F instruments, this is a D. Um, for B flat instruments like trumpet and clarinet, this is going to be an A, and for E flat instruments like saxophone, this will be um, an E flat. So uh, this natural minor scale is a new thing for us, um, but it's quite common in music, and uh, the more complex music we play, the more likely it is that you'll hear things going between major and minor um, scales. So it's important that we start to recognize this pattern and be able to play it um, fluently. So a good way to think of it is um, first you want to play a G major scale or a G major concert scale. So since I'm playing a concert pitch instrument, I'm going to play a G major scale. So we should all know that pattern by now. The major scale sounds familiar. Um, now what a natural minor scale is, we're adjusting um, three notes in that scale. We're adjusting the third note, the sixth note, and the seventh. And what we're doing is we're lowering them by a half step. So in my case, that means I'm going, my third third note is a B natural, so I'm going to lower that by a half step. It's going to become a B flat. And then the sixth note is an E natural, so I'm lowering that by a half step, and so forth. So now I'm going to play it one more time, but I'm going to lower the third, sixth, and seventh scale degree. So that's a natural minor scale. So again, that means the third, sixth, and seventh are all lowered by just a half step. Um, now we're going to play this exercise. Since it's only half notes and quarter notes, we're going to play it only at one tempo, unlike some of the other videos where we've been doing things at a very slow tempo and then at a faster tempo. So my metronome is set to quarter note equals 80, and we'll do four clicks before we start. And so practice that a few times slowly first and then see if you can speed it up a bit. We want to be able to get to a point where this pattern and this sequence of notes doesn't sound unfamiliar or awkward to us, but instead it, we can play it uh, quite fluently so that when it shows up in music, um, it's easy for us to do. We're going to keep looking at minor scales in exercise 146, but for now, if you have any questions about them, you can ask your band director in your private lesson.